Welcome, Jake. Welcome down under. Hello. Good to see you, Jay. Good to see yeah. you again, too. Yeah. Yeah. So um, who were you scammed by? Which website and how much all in were you scammed by, Jake? Uh, mostly uh, it was UA Dreams. Uh, it was about three, four thousand dollars uh, I think Victoria Brides was about eight hundred and Charmed Out was about eight hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Please tell us what uh, any anything you want to tell us about your story. How maybe how did it start and when did you when did you kind of feel okay maybe this isn't real. How did it start? And what was the site again? What was the site? I think I started to look into Russian and Ukrainian dating because I was struggling so much in local Australian dating sites and it just wasn't working. I thought, oh, let's have a go going overseas, uh, knowing it's gone very complicated. So mm -hmm. uh, I had a look at a few sites. I think I went to Russian Cupid. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it was uh, got onto that. I, did, I was on there for about a year or two. I uh, met a few different ladies there. I think there was a couple of friends uh, I've been able to keep in touch with. One's in Denmark, the other's in Sweden. Uh, so this is yeah, just, think, one second, this is Ukraine date you're talking about, right? Yeah, I did see there was another lady there who was on Ukraine date and then she, she had two profiles, one on Russian Cupid and the other one was on Ukraine date. Let's just tell everybody what is Ukraine date. So, guys, Ukraine date... A lot of guys that are trying to beer budget this journey, they go to the free or the nominal fee sites like Ukraine Date. It's, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 bucks a month. So there's thousands or maybe tens of thousands of, of ladies in there, girls in there. But the thing is, what you guys don't maybe know is that it is mostly, it is predominantly professional scammers. And those ones, they're so good. You don't see it coming. There's the long play. There's the short play scam. Um, and this is, this is what um, Jake is talking about. He met some girls in there. And even young, good-looking Australian guy should have no problem, really. He would be snatched up by our database like that. And I hope he wins and he will find out. Um, but when you're on Ukraine date, it's just scammers. So you get... I mean, unfortunately, you get what you pay for. So, yeah, please continue about Ukraine date, Jake. Yeah, I met this lady called uh, Anya. Uh, I think she was 20 years old at the time. It was about 2016, so it was about six years ago now. Uh, put up there, and she wanted to branch on to a different dating site, which was UA Dreams. And at first I thought, well, I don't think that's really going to be appropriate because we can just talk by email, we can mm -hmm. talk on uh, Facebook, Messenger, uh, all those other communication platforms. Um, so I thought, no, this is not right for me. I think she somehow created a profile for me out of uh, her own will, not mine, and I wasn't too happy about that. I think... Yeah, I was a bit frustrated for a while there. I thought, oh, I think she gave me a message. There was a link there that came up on my email saying that she sent me an uh, invitation for video chat. I thought, oh, okay, maybe she's still thinking of me. It was about three or four months after this uh, time had passed. And so I thought, oh, yeah, maybe I should just give it a bit of a go. You know, uh, I think I gave about three or four different emails back and forth, I suppose there's a good thing is that you don't pay to rece uh, receive the incoming email compared to others. So there's a benefit in that way, but it's still, it's from what we know, it's still going to be a scam. So it's misleading in its own sense. Um, yeah, I think it got to a point where I wanted to have a video chat with her um, so I gave her an invitation and I did it a couple of weeks in a row trying to see which, if there was a time that's going to suit her and, and I got no reply. So I thought, oh, well, she's not really interested anymore. She's, yeah, just wants to take my email and that's it. And she, and she was never online either. So I'm not sure what her scamming tactic was in the end. Um, 
you just wanted emails, I think she caught up with some other Sri Lankan guy, what Joe was telling me. Um, yeah, so, and then sort of, oh, well, um, I think I paid, I was getting quite keen, I think I paid about 50 emails, which is about $300 worth. And, um, yeah, just sort of just play it out slowly and see what happens. And then I think this lady called uh, Anna is different to this Anya girl and, and she's very good with the communication. Uh, she's had to uh, respond to my invitation for video chat. So it was obviously very early in the morning for Australian time, like 2 a.m. Um, but I think she was consistent and that she was able to uh, respond and I felt she was friendly opening and, it, and I felt like there was something genuine there and yeah and it went it sort of went on for many months and I think I used up yeah the, the 50 emails worth about maybe uh, three months I was fairly cautious I didn't did one maybe every two to three weeks and two or three uh, video chats every a uh, couple of weeks as well, just, you know, steady on. And I didn't go too full ball because it was very expensive. I mean, it's like a dollar a minute and it's just ridiculous. And, um, yeah, so I got to a point where I needed to uh, spend more money. So I thought, well, what what's the options? And I think the most expensive but cheapest way is to get the, the bigger package, which was uh, nearly $1,000 worth. Uh, which but gets you the the cheaper rate because you're buying it in bulk. Um, yeah, so oh, she yeah she's pretty popular. I think she's um, this lady's moved on, but um, yeah, I was chatting. I was chatting for about two years, I think, from about uh, 2017. I think it was May, and then right through to uh, 2019 September because I eventually found out she had a Facebook profile and I discovered, okay, this is enough. Come on, I've given you the time. You realise that I'm genuine and I love you and I want to be with you, but come on. And it's like either we come off or don't talk at all because I think she just wanted me to keep talking to her on that site mm -hmm. and she... Every time I tried to figure out a time to see her, it was like, oh, no, um, I can only see you for a day, which I could never do. I had to see it every day mm -hmm. that I was going to be over there for to make it worthwhile. And and that's, I can't understand. It's just she expects you to go over there and pretend to be this so-called Ukrainian man who lives just down the street, and you don't. You live 30,000 I don't know, 20,000 kilometers away or miles. Let's, uh, let's uh, look at Nick, Nick's question. Sorry to interrupt here, but he's, he's asking how many times did you go to Ukraine uh, to meet her? Or did you go? No, I, I never ended up meeting her in Florida. Why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. Because uh, she kept delaying and saying that she was busy. She could never see me after work. Uh, I think she worked as a nurse from 7 a.m. in the morning to like 6 o'clock at night. So, and then, yeah, I thought, well, you've got to see me after that. She says, no, we, I can only see you on Sundays. And, um, so yeah, she gave you the runaround. She clearly didn't want to meet you. And which site is it, are you talking about now? Uh, still UI Dreams. So how many times were you scammed? By how many different girls, do you think? How many different sites? was that? Oh, uh, yeah, I did try Charm Date. That was um, after I broke up Anna. Uh, that was, I think, from oh, November 2019 through to about May 2020 when the pandemic hit its peak. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, there was another young, I think she was from Lohansk, which is eastern Ukraine. Mm -hmm. She moved to Kiev. Oh, yeah, I talked to her for uh, two to three months, but those credits went very quickly and and I, I managed to get these so-called contact details. Uh, I had a few emails here back and forth and then 
like, okay, well, if you're going to keep chatting to me, you got to continue talking on the site. And is this, sorry to interrupt, is this the girl here that's initially sucked you in? Uh, yeah, she was on Russian Cupid site. And, and I think she was on Ukraine Day as well. And I got her busted for it because she was only promoting UA Dreams. Mm -hmm. I contacted the support team and, um, yeah, I mean, it's sort of a... a well, that's, sort of that's, a that's another point is that you see these really beautiful ones, you see them on multiple sites. So you just mentioned UA Dreams, Russian Cupid. <clears throat> and, she, and if you do a reverse image search on somebody like that, that level of beauty, you'll find her, I promise you, on at least a dozen sites. You'll find her all over the place. So thanks, thanks, Jake, for uh, telling, sharing your story with us. And I, I wish you good luck. 